Welcome back to the Knife Show, people. I've got a sexy, sexy one for you today. And that is the CJRB Pyrite by the Knife Center exclusive with titanium bolsters, titanium clip, and the black micarta scale. Now it's the same AR RPM 9 steel, but boy, does that look handsome. I think it's $72.99. Really love that it comes with this clip because on this Felspar right here, I bought this clip directly from Artisan and I think it was like $25 shipped. And this one comes on here. The base model of the Pyrite is, I want to say 50, maybe 55, and it's either G10 or stainless steel. And it comes with just your basic, your basic clip like this. But for 20 bucks more, you get the micarta, you get the titanium bolsters, and you get the pocket clip. And this thing is just, oh, oh, it feels good. And then listen to the ding. The ding. This knife is so awesome. Okay, so I want to compare this to the Civivi Altus right here. And first thing is just thickness. This pyrite is way thinner. Bring that close in there. Way thinner. 2.65 ounces, 3.11 on the blade. And continuing that comparison, this Civivi Altus was also 72 bucks. Blade is just over three inches, but it's a tiny bit smaller than the, the CJRB. And this does have the Nitro V steel, but what a good value that is for 72 bucks. It's also a lot, Pyrite is a lot smoother than the, than the Altus. I'll try to get that on camera, but it's really no comparison. Sorry that there's some gunk on that blade. These were on back order for a good while, so I was really excited to see that they were in stock. And I'll tell you, CJRB, they know how to make like a just a good looking generic blade. Here's that Felspar. And the Scoria, they just, they know how to do a real easy to digest blade shape. This one's super thin. Now the steel is nothing special. They advertise it as like D2-ish, but a CPM version, it's their own proprietary steel. This is a great time to be into knives because I've been into knives for 17, 18 years now. And you go back even a decade and getting titanium bolsters, titanium pocket clip, button lock, let alone ball bearings. We didn't even know that was like a thing 10 years ago. But this just would have cost you so much money 10 years ago. And now it's under 75 bucks. Two point six five ounces too, super light. Now, as far as things I don't like, there's really two. Number one, let me bring this in real close. You see that bolster in the scale? How it's shadow boxed a little bit? It's not quite as big as the scale or the the metal liner, I should say. So it's sticking out right here, just a bit all the way around. Well, it looks cool, but because of that, right up here where you're putting your finger, your finger's just against this metal scales right here. Just this really, really, really thin part of the knife. Your thumb really isn't going to be touching the outside bolsters. So everything you got 
is going to end up on just those two little raised metal liners. That's why I'm just not a fan of the shadow boxing. I do like this jimping, and it's pretty decent. And I know more often than not, your thumb is going to end up out here as opposed to here. But that is one thing I don't love. So smooth, you guys. Okay, the other thing. I'm going to have to reach down for a prop here. So these are the LA Police Gear jeans. You see how it's kind of double layer right there? I'm sure everyone watching this video is throwing up plenty of pants pockets with their pocket knives. Well, this pocket clip, the clearance is pretty low. And because of that, when you try to do this, behind the camera, of course. You're going to get to right about here. And then it's bunched up and won't go any further. Now, if I do it on this part over here, where it's just the one ply, it's fine. But I don't love that part because unfortunately, a lot of my pants that I wear are similar to that. And it's not just because it's a titanium clip because Here's Tucson right here, and it's just got a lot more clearance, and it does not have that problem. Wow, everything's harder behind the camera, let me tell you. So you see, it goes all the way down. So those are the two things I'm not crazy about, but what a value. And if you get this, you're really going to appreciate this knife. Feels great. Now, I have medium-sized gloves, and my hand takes up every bit of that. I would not complain if the handle was just a tiny bit longer. They do have kind of a choil where you can choke up, but it's real sharp right there. That's another thing. This came sharp. So, it is a very compact knife, and if you have real large hands and you don't utilize the choil, it could be a little bit small for you. But um, for me, nothing's hanging off. Gosh, you guys, it's so smooth. And that thing. This is one to annoy the wife with. You sit on that couch and you ding all night. She'll let you know. So I hope you guys like it. And right now, I just checked before I film this, and they are still in stock for $72.99. KnifeCenter.com. Thanks for watching.